United States, we spend over $815 billion per year on education. Yet education is increasingly viewed, especially by the emerging gamer generation, as ineffective, irrelevant, and unproductive. Clearly, it's time to rethink the method by which educators deliver knowledge to learners. Traditional lectures do little to hold the interest of a generation weaned on MTV and World of Warcraft. Enter Second Life, where learners become immersed in their own education. Second Life is a 3D virtual world that can provide and deliver a unique educational setting. Meet Ruth A. Boucher, Wiseau, and Marissa Moody. We are your guides to some exciting educational experiences happening in Second Life. Join us as we take you on a guided tour of some fascinating ways that the world of education is being transformed in this interactive virtual world. New visitors to Second Life are dropped at Orientation Island, where they are taught the basics of navigating the terrain and communicating with others. After learners become familiar with the basics of Second Life, it's easy for them to suspend their sense of disbelief and feel immersed in their environment. This makes Second Life an ideal tool to practice role-playing as an instructional tool. At Renaissance Island, learners can enter into the world of a Shakespearean play and interact with the other characters. Be sure to wear your period costume. Or imagine visiting Roma, where you might take part in a reenactment of the pageantry, holidays, and gladiator combat of ancient Rome. How else could students so easily experience a period of history as when they are immersed in a virtual replica of it and talking to other avatars about the landscape and the situations they encounter? In Second Life, students can participate in a virtual scavenger hunt in which they locate information relevant to their field of study. They might search for objects that have definitions attached to them, a fun, interactive way to build vocabulary, or they might learn to identify works of art by locating particular pieces in a gallery. Wouldn't it be great if instructors could take their students on guided tours of the fascinating places they are studying in their real-world classrooms? With Second Life, students can tour replicas of locations they would otherwise never visit. The Sistine Chapel or the inside of a Dell computer, all without setting foot outside of their real-world classroom. Many educational venues offer a virtual sandbox similar to this area in English Village where students can experiment with building objects and environments. Learners can work together to collaborate on a project and co-create virtual 3D objects. Immersive education gives participants a sense of being there when attending a real-life class or training session in person isn't possible, practical, or desirable. Virtual worlds provide educators and students with the ability to connect and communicate in a way that greatly enhances the learner's ability to understand the feelings and emotions of people in situations different from their own. Second Life can provide an opportunity to walk in someone else's shoes. For example, learners can become part of and interact in a custom-built environment such as UC Davis's virtual hallucination site where they can get a You're sense worthless. of what it feels like to experience You're schizophrenia worthless. or what would it feel like to take a walk inside a Van Gogh painting. Second Life users can experience these sensations. Second Life is being adopted as a platform by more and more institutions of learning and developers of related educational applications have taken notice. Sloodle is an open source project which combines the Moodle learning management system with the rich interactive 3D multi-user Second Life virtual environment. For example, an object within a virtual world might ask quiz questions of avatars who are visiting that world. The avatar's response would be sent back to the learning management system to be tabulated. Instructors can set their students loose on self-paced tutorials like the learning kiosks set up at the Ohio University Second Life campus. In addition, educators can join groups related to their area of expertise, such as a Thursday night social for members of the International Society for Technology and Education, all held in Second Life. Collaboration and exchange is possible with colleagues from around the world. 
the sense of actually meeting with colleagues is much stronger and immediate in a virtual world than is possible through other communication tools such as blogs or email. And Second Life breaks down language barriers with support of the dBabbler language translator. Whiteboards are another popular educational tool. For example, this whiteboard in the English Village site functions as a perpetual source of general information about this educational site. In addition, a lecturer may use a whiteboard in Second Life for a PowerPoint presentation. Afterwards, the presenter may allow participants to add the whiteboard presentation to their inventory for future reference. While this video was being produced, a first look at voice support for Second Life was implemented. Voice support expands the possibilities of Second Life by adding another layer to the simulation of reality and immersion of the user within the virtual world. While the possible uses of Second Life as an educational tool are still developing, Second Life does comprise a sumptuous 3D virtual world rich in 21st century educational opportunities. If you are interested in learning more about the educational uses of Second Life, consider subscribing to a relevant blog such as www.carlcap.blogspot.com or joining one of the many educational groups in Second Life.